Good evening to you. I hope you have enjoyed the snacks, especially wet snacks. Whenever I see this food, one of the first thing which comes to my mind is agriculture. I'm not an agriculture engineer, but when I used to see plants, I see them as human, same as human baby, which needs education, food, love, and individual care in order to become a healthy person. A four leaf, tiny, cute plant also needs enough water, fertilizers, sunlight, and individual care to become a productive plant. The point which I want to make is every plant has different characteristics, so different input requirements. So we should not treat them in same manner and expect high yield from our farms. So what should we do? To identify those plants or those areas in the farm which are stressed and can lead to low yield. Here comes my research. I install a hyperspectral camera on a drone, fly it above agricultural farms, and collect a lot of top of the canopy images. These images are in narrow infrared bands. So they contain information about the leaf internal structure and various chemical contents present in it. Chemical, chemical contents like nitrogen, carbon, water, which are critical for growth of a plant. And if we know the percentage of these chemical contents in the leaf, then management practices becomes easy as well as scientific. So I stitch these drone-based images and make a farm map like Google Map. And by using crop models and various machine learning techniques, I try to identify those areas which are stressed. So the whole process is similar to what CT scan or ultrasound, which a doctor do to a human body to see internal organs, and they can pinpoint the exact location of the disease. So I do similar things for our farming system. With one year of field visits, destructive data sampling, and a lot of lab chemical analysis, I have been able to identify or rather distinguish the healthy and stressed crops on the field. But if you want to know about the percentage of these chemical contents, which is the major part, do come to Australia next year because I may get 3MTT over there next year. So ladies and gentlemen, Green Revolution 1 and 2 has done their job in India. Now, to optimize the operational efficiency of Indian agriculture, we need digital revolution in agriculture. Only then we will be able to achieve more crop per drop. Thank you.